Welcome back everyone to another Toy Lounge review and today's review is going to be a Leonard Toys Jurassic Clash Dino Wrangler. And if you've ever wanted a G.I. Joe slash Jurassic World crossover, look no further. This is the toy line for you. You have the Jurassic Clash logo up the top. Beast Taming Squad, which is I, I guess the theme they're going for with this toy line. Articulated action figure. These action figures are from the Leonard Core line. The newer articulated ones. Dino Wrangler. Figure, creature and accessories. This figure obviously including the Sabretooth Tiger. One to eighteen scale of course, uh, in scale with your GI Joes. And also that recently released Jurassic World toy line. Definitely fits in with that. On the back you have all the other figures in the line. You have the Raptor, Sabretooth Tiger, which we're looking at right now, the Trimatrodon, I believe that's how it's pronounced, and the Titanus. Titanus looking like a large carnivorous like bird like creature and a large lizard like creature huge read up in the back to introduce everyone to this toy line Interesting read up. It's the year 25XX. 25XX being way, way, way ahead in the future. Way after you and I have left this world. Super advanced technology. Let humanity bring back and live among dinosaurs and megafauna. With dino control technology, Machines, beasts, and humans working together were able to bring population down to almost zero. Oxygen levels raised, flora and fauna grew in size, and finally a peaceful and self-sustained world was achieved. Interesting. All thanks to the supercomputer known as the evolution. Right, eh? Okay. The very apex of human technolog technological achievements until the singularity also known as the uh, Cybergeddon happened. Okay. The sentient evolution disseminated humanity and enslaved all remaining living creatures. Kids under 10, if I've already lost you, I do apologize. It kind of gets a bit complicated here. <laughs> Telep telepathically controlling dinosaur and humans alike, creating the final impact. The final impact. A military unit specialized in hunting down humans and feral dinosaurs for total war domination. Wow, things are getting bad. So this is, of course, the... Uh, I'd say... The sentient evolution, probably the cobra like organization in this Jurassic Clash theme. Jeez, one more paragraph. 
<laughs> a small group of raiders escaped, living on the run in a new world between feral and prehistoric wilderness. Wow. Quite... this gets deep. And technological doom. But the surviving humans are strong and their willpower is iron. Alongside their tame dinosaur companions and incredible technology, they will retaliate and launch the ultimate Jurassic Clash. Wow. All new dinos. Wow. Probably the biggest read-up I've ever had. But yeah. Okay. I think we've looked enough at this packaging. I'm gonna go have a nice drink of water after that huge read up. Maybe take a nap, come back and open this guy up. And we're back with our saber tooth outside of its packaging. I've gotta say, I love what I see. The combination of the action figure and the saber tooth, unlike anything I've seen in a while, especially in this scale. Taking a closer look at the figure first. Now, as I mentioned before, this is one of the uh, newer sculpts from the Leonard core figures. And if you purchase these guys in their single packs or three packs, they do have their names, but on this packaging, his name is not specified, so I'm unaware of this character's name, unfortunately, because I haven't picked up the single packs or three packs yet, simply because they haven't been available where I am. So, one of the main reasons first when I picked up this wave of figures was for these guys. But I've also become a fan of how they've combined these prehistoric creatures with them. Comes with the, uh, what looks like a M16 rifle. I think that's the M16. I keep forgetting my rifles. It may not be. You guys always correct me with the with the weapons anyway, so comes with a scope and a grenade launcher. The uh, it is a rubbery plastic. What I don't like is this uh, pin on the side. It could be from a. It could be used to peg in somewhere from a previous line. I don't know. But again, I've got. Tons of other weapons I can include with this guy if I wish. The figure himself, give you a closer look at the head sculpt. I really like this uh, new line of figures that Leonard has re uh, released. I'm quite impressed. He also has a working holster on the side there.
he also came with a pistol which fits into that I'll show you guys that shortly as well and he comes with this little pistol right here which easily fits into his holster right there I love that articulation there around the uh, around the waist as for articulation the head looks like it's on a ball joint but it's hindered with the collar on the vest the vest here is of a harder plastic which is part of this sculpt, it's non-removable so that kind of hinders the movement around the head but you can swing it side to side about there not really much forward or backward Shoulders go up about there. Rotate all the way around. He has a swivel on the elbow. So rotates at the elbow, full 360. Bends at the elbow. no rotation at the wrist there the waist rotates full 360 and you can get it to move to the side that way and that way it's kind of cool how you can lean to either side interesting forward as well a little very different to GI Joe's and the new hip joints let's see how these work so they're on a looks like a ball joint ball socket joint they move forward all the way forward backward I can't get him to do the splits that well but they go out to about there knees bend and there's no articulation in the foot I'm pretty happy with the articulation, some may prefer more but I'm fine with what they've included We'll just place him on the side for a minute. Get a closer look at this guy here. Very detailed saber tooth. I'm loving this. and I'm just a big fan of the saddle there's so much here, it's not just a simple saddle 
they've actually included some nice attachments and accessories which is unique to this toy line I haven't seen anywhere else you've got this huge mounted cannon looks like a laser cannon or something on the rear you can rotate it all the way around full 360 it's plugged into the saddle so it's also removable and it also swivels up and down really loving it plug that back in I hope I can get it in easy in the detail they've done with the uh, with the strap on the saddle you've got these nicely detailed bullets so the strap actually doubles up as uh, as an ammo belt the paintwork on the saber tooth is beautifully done we got some nice darker shading on the top of uh, orangey yellow and it gets lighter throughout the rest of the body the stripes are painted really well no paint splotching or anything I mean if you're just a collector of prehistoric figures you can all this stuff is removable and you can just display it as a saber tooth uh, as a saber tooth tiger on its own no articulation on this tiger unfortunately it's just a big statue quite heavy as well it's got some weight to it it's a very solid plastic doesn't seem hollow or anything like that these pouches I don't think you can open them up no you can't open up the pouches I thought you could they actually can't it's all just one piece and another cool accessory is this huge blade that fits into the sheath on the side no paint on the on the blade just a grey plastic fits back in there and you can also unplug that sheath if you'd wish I think I'll just leave it on for now lovely and to mount the figure on
I think he sits quite nicely on there. I'm really loving it, really love this line. I'm looking forward to opening up the rest of the wave and reviewing them for you guys. Let me know what you think. Is this a line you'd like to pick up? Stay tuned, I'm gonna have a lot more of this wave. Thanks for watching guys. Stick around till the end of the video. I'm gonna have some photos of this guy posed with some other action figures. I'll see you next time.